Okay, right here is a 2009 Komatsu PC-2000-8 backhoe. The PC-2000 was introduced by Komatsu in 2007 as a replacement for the older PC-1800-6 model. The new PC-2000 not only featured a completely new design, but also a completely different power system setup, which is one of the things I'm going to take and show you in this video. The PC-2000 is available in either a front shovel or a backhoe configuration. In the front shovel configuration, a PC-2000 is set up with a standard 14.4 cubic yard bull clamp. The backhoe, or mass excavator configuration, which is what you're looking at right here, is set up with a standard 15.7 cubic yard rock bucket, which you can see right here on the front of this 2000. And an optional 17.3 cubic yard bucket is also offered for this machine for coal loading purposes. Now, this particular bucket on this 2000, as you can see, is manufactured by Hensley. However, Komatsu does design their own heavy-duty rock bucket for the 2000. And the Komatsu design bucket features different strength steels for different parts of the bucket for higher wear resistance. Another unique design feature about the Komatsu heavy-duty rock bucket is if you look at the teeth, on the Komatsu bucket for this 2000. You'll notice that the teeth are very long, narrow, and dagger shaped. Those are called excess teeth. They are designed for superior digging and penetration power and also for long-term sharpness. On the back side of the stick you can see the two bucket cylinders to curl the bucket in and out. And up on the top of the boom you can see the two stick cylinders to push the stick in and out. The PC-2000 is available with either double or triple grosser shoes in either 32 inch or 40 inch widths. Another design change that was made to this machine. The older PC-1800 used dual drivers in each track, and they were replaced by a single hydraulic motor on the new PC-2000. Also take note that the motor and the hydraulic lines that run to power the motor are encased inside these metal shields. This is to protect the travel motor and the hydraulic lines from any rocks or falling debris when the machine is in operation. And here you can see where the hydraulic lines run inside the car body and then up to the hydraulic system to provide the motors with fluid power. This machine has a 1.7 mile per hour travel speed. And to give you an idea of the size of a PC-2000, this machine measures 23 feet 1 inch tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and measures 24 feet 9 inches wide from end to end of the side rails. Now, let's go up on top of the 2000. You can see the wide access ladder on this machine. From here, you can get a good overview of the house on a PC-2000, which features a very unique design. What makes it so unique are two features. First of all, you will notice that there are catwalks located along the sides and back of the house on this machine. Another interesting design feature about this machine is you'll notice the only area that's enclosed inside the house is this section right here, which is called the machinery house, also called the engine house, whatever you prefer to call it. And inside there is the diesel engine, the hydraulic pumps, the oil cooler, and radiator. This entire power module section can be transported in one piece for quick breakdown and reassembly of the machine, which is a very nice feature. As I said, the PC-2000 featured a completely different power system setup. And one of the biggest changes that was made to this machine, 
The older PC-1800 was a twin engine machine. This machine was designed to be a single engine machine. Let's take a look at the diesel engine on it. The machine is powered by a V12 Komatsu diesel engine that has a 5.5% increase in horsepower over the older PC-1800. The engine you see is a model SAA-12V-140E. It's equipped with a high-efficiency turbocharger with a large air-to-air -air aftercooler that delivers 956 horsepower. The engine is also EPA certified. It's a very clean running engine. From the factory, the engine is set to run at 1800 RPM. And another nice feature is the radiator fan is hydraulically driven, which eliminates the use of a belt. And inside this compartment, here you can see the hydraulic pumps. This machine uses a simple two-pump hydraulic system, replacing the six pumps used on the PC-1800. And there you can see the oil cooler. Here you can get a good view of the front section of the engine house with other service compartments to get in and work on the engine. You can see two air intakes and the air cleaners up top. And under this guard right here is the muffler and you can see the two exhaust stacks. This big tank that you see located on the right hand side of the machine is the diesel fuel tank. It holds 898 gallons of fuel. Here you can see the hydraulic system and the control valves and all the hydraulic lines that run out to power the backhoe in the front. This machine also has two swing motors. They are mounted on each end of the ring which is a very well engineered design. That way it will wear the ring more evenly and provide better contact area for the swing. This right here is the hydraulic oil tank. It holds 343 and a half gallons of oil. There you can get a good view of the operator's cab, which as you can see is very large and oversized. When Komatsu designed the PC-2000, they increased the operator's cab size by 30% when compared to the older PC-1800. Now down here, inside this compartment is the electronic room. Let's go and check it out. These two big red canisters that you see right here are for the fire suppression system. And inside this box you see right here mounted on the wall is where all the computers, the relays, and electronics are that work the machine. Now let's go up inside the operator's cab. Here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the PC-2000. This is an air suspension seat which can be adjusted to fit the operator's weight and position. You can see the trainer seat mounted right behind the operator's seat. And this is standard Komatsu control setup. Okay, the two joysticks that you see on the right and left side control all the functions of the backhoe in the front or if the machine were set up as a front shovel. And these two hand levers you see out in front connect to the foot pedals on the floor and this is how you travel the machine. And also you can see on the right and left side two foot rests. This machine features a 7 inch TFT LCD monitor which has a vehicle health monitoring system that monitors the entire machine when it's in operation. The machine also has two selectable working modes. You have P mode, which is your power mode, and E mode, which is your economy mode. And this allows the operator to select the mode that best fits the operating conditions. And this machine also has an automatic engine idle system.
and from here you can get another good overview of the operator's cab inside the 2000. The noise level inside this cab is rated at 64.5 decibels and this large cab is designed exclusively for Komatsu's mining class hydraulic excavators. You can see the large walkway alongside the operator's cab so the operator can get out here and clean the windshield or replace one of the windshield wipers if he needs to. And also, you'll see that this grate in the floor right here opens up. And this is so in case of an emergency, the operator can get down on the emergency ladder to get off this machine. From under here, you can get a good view of the superstructure on the PC-2000. And the overall working weight of a PC-2000 backhoe, as you see right here, can range anywhere from 220 and a half to 225 tons with the front shovel version weighing in at 215 tons. But there she is, a 2009 Komatsu PC-2000-8.